in this follow along workout, I've got seven exercises that will make you a better runner. Okay, let's go. Okay, so getting straight into it, our first exercise targets gluteus medius, glute med, a muscle around the outside of the hip that's really responsible when we're on one leg as we're running for providing lateral stability. So it's side to side stability around the hips. If you know you have a tendency to land and sink down into a kind of a hip drop, then this is a massive one for you. So instead of using a uh, step or anything like that, what I want you to do is actually just start on one leg, the little knee bend, and we're gonna reach the other leg back and across on about 45 degrees behind you. It's not really deep. We're not going into a, a big curtsy lunge or anything like that. So it's a little knee bend here. And then from here, we're gonna drive up with this knee as we squeeze our glutes, consciously clench your butt on the standing leg, on the hip on this side. So from here and squeeze and drive. We're gonna do 10 of those on one side, 10 on the other. You ready? Okay, so it's back, squeeze. Back, squeeze. The drive up with the other knee will help you squeeze. Three, four, consciously. Really trying to engage with your glutes on that standing leg. Six, seven, eight, nine, and there's 10. Okay, now on the other side, same idea. We can get the arms involved. So from here, back and across, squeeze your glutes. Back and across, cleanse your butt. Should be feeling it right here. Get your arms going. There we go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's 10. Should really start to feel that through those glutes. Our next exercise is a single leg calf raise. Now, you can either do this simply on a flat piece of ground, just coming up onto your toes, not quite as effective as if you use a step, and this could be a step which is as, as low as a book, or it could be the bottom of a flight of stairs. That's kind of up to you. But obviously having a wall nearby is great for balance and it's not a cheat. This exercise isn't about balance. This is about working your ankles through range of motion, really getting those calf muscles working. Now, what I'm gonna suggest you do is focus on going from this top position. You can come down from the top on one leg and then you're gonna put both feet on, come back up, and you're gonna go down again on the same leg, dropping the heel down below the balls of the feet. Slow, 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 slow. That's three. Keep it nice and slow. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, and then we do the same on the other. So slowly on the way down, focusing on this eccentric component of the movement. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's 10. Now, if you find that easy, coming down on one, up on two, you can of course have one leg entirely off and you come down on one, up on one working through the full range as well you can, working for 10, simply working both directions on one foot. It's a lot more challenging. What I'd suggest is you start going down on one, up on two, start with set to 10, set to 15, set to 20. By the time you can do 25 with no real fatigue and it feels pretty easy, that's when I'd start going up and down 
unassisted on that one foot. Okay, from there we're moving into a slightly more challenging movement. We need to get rid of the step. This is gonna be a bigger movement, a bit more tiring. We're going into a split squat. Now, I really like a split squat because it kind of begins to mimic what we get in running gait. So we get hip flexion on this side, whilst we get hip extension on this side, we're opening out that stride angle. Now here, we want to start with a nice long stance. You're on your toes on the back foot, on the front foot, I want you set up so you can push through your heel on the way back up out of our squat. What's key is that we focus on the position of our hips and pelvis. So first things first, draw the belly button in. Okay, I don't want you starting to tilt forwards through the pelvis. So engage your core by drawing the belly button in, squeeze your butt on the back leg. And we're gonna come down on one plane of movement. Okay, so it's there, it's not this. Okay, there's nothing wrong with driving the knees forward over the toes as long as you don't have knee pain. But if we drop straight down, it really challenges the mobility on the tissues around the front of the hip on this side. So those of us with tight hip flexors, will feel this. So from here, down, push through the heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so that was right foot forward. We're now gonna go left foot forward. I'll show you from this angle, because it helps me to demonstrate a few things you wanna keep an eye out for. So in this position, I really want you to watch for this knee driving or dropping in towards the midline, okay? If needs be, feel that you're putting the weight slightly through the outside of your foot, just to help that knee track forwards. If you feel that you're losing balance side to side like this, it might be because you've set up with a really narrow stride width. The narrower the stride width, so if you're set up with your feet like they're on a, a tightrope, then the narrower your base of support. It means you're gonna find it hard to create that stability. So if you're wobbling, go wider with the stance. So same things apply, belly button in, butt squeezed, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's 10. Good. Okay, let's move on. The next exercise, again, it's a fairly big movement. It's a bit more of a dynamic core control, core strength, core stability exercise, is mountain climbers. We're gonna start out in a press-up position. Again, it's not press-ups, but it is good for us runners to load through the upper body once in a while. In this position here, what I want to do is focus on knee to elbow. If you can't get fully knee to elbow, let's say this is all you can do, that's absolutely fine. It's more about working through the range you have with control. So we don't want you losing the shape for your upper, for your upper back, for your mid back, and around the hips and pelvis, enforcing the knee further than it wants to go. If you're tight around the hips, tight through the lower back, it may be a struggle. It gets better over time. So from here, belly button drawn in, looking to be as stable as we can through here. We're going to go knee to elbow. Two, three, four, Five, we're doing 20, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And again, Form is everything with that. If you feel yourself starting to break down, break it down into four sets of five. Break it down into three sets of, I don't know, six or seven, and just feel that you get your 20 that way. Okay, next up we have an exercise which is more focused on balance and stability. So we're going to work on one leg with a little knee bend. So it literally, it's not the leg snapped back straight here. We're gonna keep that soft knee bend throughout. And with the arms, we're gonna draw letters of the alphabet. 
uppercase, lowercase, honestly, I don't really care. But the bigger the letters, the more challenging this will be. So watch as I go through this. I'm gonna do ABC just to show you, and then we'll start again, you can join me. So little knee bend, engage your core, squeeze your butt gently, hands together, big letter A, big letter B, big letter C. We're gonna go all the way through the alphabet on each side. Every letter has a different shape, a different profile. And moving your arms around like this forces you to shift your center of mass left and right, up and down, back and forth. And that puts more challenge on particularly those muscles around the hip, muscles around the ankle to provide stability on that standing leg. So, are you ready? We're gonna do this together from here. A. B, this probably looks backwards to you. C. D. E. Try not to clench your toes. Spread the, the toes out as you do this. Ooh, G, H, I, that's a nice easy one. J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, oh, that's a challenge. Y, and Z, there. Okay, I, as the alphabet goes on, so more time spent on that side, balancing, I really start to feel that burn through those glutes on the standing leg. Hopefully, you feel the same. If you're feeling that more through your calves, it's probably because you're clenching your toes in your shoes. So, feel free to kick your shoes off and do this if you're wearing them, by the way, all these exercises are fine barefoot, but really focus on not clawing at the ground. That is a strategy people use when they're not creating stability properly from the hip, the, the little muscles around the ankle take over and try and create even more stability to make up for the net gain in stability from the hip, and therefore you end up with that clawing. Right, A to Z again. From here, a little soft knee bend on the standing leg, A. That was terrible. Let's do it again. A. B. C. D. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. L. M. N. O. P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, and Z there. So the bigger the movement, the harder the exercise. If you challenge yourself, great. If you're finding it hard, make it a smaller letter and build up over time. Okay, to finish this off, we've got two exercises which are both ground-based and really focused on different areas of our core and our hips. So to begin with, it's a bit of a twist on a side plank. So from here, elbow underneath shoulder, instead of being in our typical side plank position, what I want to do is actually bend the bottom leg. Okay, in this position where we're flexed at the knee here, it's the outside of the knee that's going to be pressing into the ground as we then lift the hip up off the ground. That's gonna take the focus off our obliques and really focus again on glute med, the muscle we started out working at the beginning of this workout. This leg just comes up to horizontal and not supported. So we're gonna do 10 second hold in this position. I'll count 10. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, we're there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and down. We're doing this three times over. Okay, ready to go again? And three, two, one, we're up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. 
It's challenging doing them all on one side and then all on the other side, get a little bit less recovery. Okay, we're going again. Three, two, one, up we go. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Should really be feeling that around the hips on this leg that's pushing the ground away, but also probably around the hips. So around again, glute med region on the leg that's actually up in the air. Okay, so doing the same on the other side now. You should know what you're doing. It's just the outside of the knee that's pressing. Okay, from here, we're gonna get straight up into it. So three, two, one, and up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, that's one down, we're doing two more. Going again in three, two, one, up we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down we go. Nearly there with this one, and then it's an easy exercise to finish. Okay, from here, we're going three, two, one, up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Okay, nice and easy that one. Once, uh, well, actually no, that was not nice and easy at all. Nice and easy the next one. Once we've done that, we're finishing off with a very straightforward glute bridge. So on your back, nice and relaxed. Heels in towards your butt. I'm gonna get you pressing through your heels rather than pressing through your forefoot as you do this. I want you to firstly, before we even bring the hips off the ground, I want you to drive gently like a three out of 10 effort, drive your lower back into the ground as you suck your belly button in towards your lower back. Again, we're not holding our breath, maintaining nice relaxed breathing. From there, I want you to gently push the heels into the ground. We're not lifting yet, just engaging. We just squeeze your butt and now we lift. Peeling off the ground from kind of coccyx upwards, as high as you comfortably can. Once we're there, we're gonna go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down slowly, hinging at the hips. While we're in that top position and I'm counting down, I want you to really think about squeezing your glutes, feeling the push come from the hip, not those hamstrings, and pushing through the heel. We're doing two more. So drive lower back into the ground, push the heel gently into the ground to engage, feel those glutes fire up, and then push harder with the heels. Lift, 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 to the top. Okay, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Down slowly, we've got one more to go. If you feel that as you do this, the effort creeps into your lower back, then that's something to keep an eye on because we don't want you dominating through your lower back and not using your glutes, it should be the other way around. And the easy fix for that is just not to push as high. What happens when people are restricted around the front of the hip, we're not, this isn't the next set by the way, but when people are restricted around the front of the hip, they find the rest of the movement by arching their back. And it's that overarching I want to avoid. So only go as high as you feel that you can get from the hip and stop before the back takes over. So last time, lower back press into the ground, heels press into the ground, feel that engagement, gently squeeze those glutes, push the heel, and up, 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 up. Stop before you start arching. Okay, and from here we're going 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down slowly. Okay, fantastic. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, let me know down in the comments. And of course, I'll see you in next week's video. In the meantime, there's a video right over here that I think you'll find interesting. So go check that one out next and have a great week.